ocean man Take me by the hand Lead me to the land That you understand Ocean Hello everybody Welcome back to the DPS podcast It's me, your host Kamada Kimpa, also known as Ethan I'm here today with David Ravi And Aryan Say hello everyone Bye Hi <laughs> I'm Gertrude that's, from Germany. That's right, sorry. We're with uh, Ravi, Arian, and Gertrude from Germany. Colin, what's the emoji Sweet. for the... It's D-E. D-E, colon. No, it's different. Remember, no, it changes... D. How did you fuck up my name? What the fuck? We've known each other since sixth grade, but okay. Okay. What's it here, you, you little bitch? Imagine. Okay. Why don't you change it to little shit? To, like from little shit to little bitch because my name's Gertrude now. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, we're expecting Clayton to be here with us, but as you can see currently, as we have not introduced him, uh, thank you. He's not actually here right now, and we don't know if he will be here. So we'll have to see. But what? So this is uh, David's second podcast he's going to be on. He was not here with us for the second podcast that we ended up uploading. This is Ravi's first. So, and we could hear David's vigorous typing on his keyboard. Multitasking. Writing three essays at once. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, my God. I was talking about this a little bit earlier, but my classes for this upcoming week do not look like it's going to be a lot of fun for me. Like, I gotta... The music is not fitting. <laughs> it's, it's really not. I gotta... <laughs> I, I got a bunch of classwork, man. Uh, I'm taking a film class. Really don't like the group I was put in with. It is going to be... I'm gonna have to pull off one of the biggest solo carries of my life, man. It is gonna not be fun. Anyway, let's get to the topics that I have decided to post for topics of this week's podcast. We'll have to see. I want to do these more often before I we keep on. I'd like to do these more often, but I keep on forgetting that like to schedule them and shit. So, like at least upload one of these each, a month or stuff like that. So this would be like February's or some stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, so Ravi here does not play Smash like a scrub, but three of us do. And we're going to talk a little bit about Byleth first. I'm just going to say, I don't think Aryan really quote unquote plays Smash. It's a different kind of action, I feel like. He <laughs> plays uh, down, Smash. Just, yeah. <laughs> down, down Smash. Down Smash. <laughs> you play Ooh. Down Smash. <laughs> oh yes. my god. You're so ass. I hate your game of watch, dude. It's so annoying. You just sit there, you spam down smash, down air. You just spam, you just spam some no. of the RNG. See, thing. When I start up my game, when I start up my game, uh, this is what plays. Alright. I unironically like that track, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, most of the smash music's really good. Anyway, we're not talking about game of watch, we're talking Nintendo about Byleth. Oh, what? What? Excuse me? <laughs> Did you just call him a sucker? Oh my god. It's oh so toxic. God. You can't say that. You can't Wait, say you that. Make apology video now. Make it's a replay of that. <laughs> I'm not editing that in. <laughs> I'm not editing that in. <laughs> Instant replay. Is this so someone good. else editing it? No, it's me. I'm gonna be the one that's editing this one. Uh, <laughs> that mean I can, can I go pee right now? Uh, what? <laughs> Why did you do this you before we you started? Can't leave that in, you can't leave that in there. No, I'm leaving it in. No. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> fallen for my <laughs> trap. You just put this, this to yourself. Quite stop playing Minecraft. He's off the call. Where oh is he? Oh my god. Ethan, put this in the intro. That's <laughs> gonna be the introduction. Can I, can I go yeah. pee now? Oh boy. Nah. <laughs> 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 I'll have to see. Man, Decide well, if I want to like move. He's, he's oh basically asking for it at this point. He really is. Anyway, Byleth. We're finally getting into the first uh, topic I put down. Byleth. I think they're bad. I think she's bad. But she's so much fun. She's... What? 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I have something to say about Bala. Uh. One second. Uh. Alright, we're waiting. <laughs> Bala, this character is a legit low tier garbage, bug eyed, <laughs> useless snail, no frame data, having dog eating, food useless, wannabe triglycerides. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you write that down in like a, no. like a notepad document or something? No, that's what Samsora tweeted. <laughs> yeah, so there's a, a pro player for Smash named Samsora, and he tweeted that out. That was quite funny. Amazing. I I think I think she's kind of bad. Like, yeah. She's too slow to do much, but we're not it's gonna. It's like playing Corin, but with more kill power, but you can't go in. Yeah, but I mean. That's something that you have with Corrin. You can't really engage with Corrin either. Yeah. Well, let's not talk too... I mean, too... you kind of have some mobility with side B, but, like, not enough. You... Like, I, I feel you like... You still have to hit it. Yeah. A lot of your mobility comes with the... Back air. And back air off stage. Back yeah. air! Yeah. Hey, David, how did your P go? Your P? Did you measure it? I'm not... <laughs> I don't... I don't think I have to talk about this. I have no David, are you feeling uncomfortable? You can talk to us. Um, are, you, are you getting I tried, enough? I I sort. So what I did was I stuck. I, I oh, okay. I, I I'm just kidding. No one wants to hear. I, I rolled up. I rolled up a tissue and stuck it into my urethra to sort of like. Sort <coughs> of, all right. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. Get, get him out of here. Get, get out of here. Get, oh my god. <laughs> this is David's second podcast, by the way. This is good. This is also David's last podcast, yeah, by the way. Get this man the hell out of here. I for, did I give myself the ability? Oh, I I can. You can kick him out. Uh, oh my god. Who is this guy you invited? <laughs> oh my god. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. I never should have let you come. This was your mistake. Yes. I feeling uh, attacked again. Good. <laughs> a little toxic. Holy shit. Good. Welcome to depressed people squad. Exactly. I'm your host, Killer. What? I feel like if we were ever to make like profit off of this, I feel like we would have to rebrand. Something yeah, tells me that. Uh, profit. Money. Spend it on Smash Car. Dude. What is that? Sorry, Smash Gear. Smash Gear. Okay. If I had the money, like a large amount of disposable income, I would honestly buy all the Smash Amiibo. <laughs> like, you know, actually, one of my coworkers has all the Smash Amiibo. Really? Yeah. That's I I buy like a shelf for them and everything. I have like a decent chunk of them. I have like twenty of them. You would try to replace all the terrible things in your life and fill in that void with Smash Amiibo. Amiibo. We're dead, but okay. <laughs> 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 Yes, hence the title of the name, or the name of the podcast, Depressed People Squad. <laughs> the title of the name. The title of the name. <laughs> With the title of the name. Okay, here's something that, like, is gonna, like, screw me up eventually. Is we have to, like, uh, I, I, I titled each episode of the podcast, right? Uh, or, we've been titling each episode of the podcast. The first podcast was, like, you know, well, I forgot what Clayton made it. Because Clayton posted the first podcast on his YouTube channel. Um... But seeing as he's not here, this is kind of my project now, right? Um, <laughs> I'm taking over. Uh, yeah, I'm taking it over. What was the first podcast called? It's Stupid Stuff with Stupid People. And the second episode... So toxic. Right? It's like, that's you know, that's... Good, yeah, that's a pretty good way to introduce it, right? And then uh, I'm like, okay, when am I going to do the second one? Because we didn't really talk about one thing for super long, except for Smash. We may end up renaming this Smash Podcast or some shit like that. But it was like actually making a second episode, because we actually made a second episode. Uh, What's it? Called? Yeah, it, it, it's called actually making a second episode. Oh. Yeah. Um. And it, it did significantly less well than when it was on Clayton's, because my YouTube channel is far smaller, and I have a feeling that people won't watch the podcast as much, or like Clayton's is like normal fan fan base, right? But I was able to get him in that first one and stuff like that. Make an announcement about that shit. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna have to come up with the title of this one. So, I don't know. It's like, maybe, like, New Year's 2020 or some stuff. But I posted this, like, January 6th, right? 
Like, I posted it maybe, like, a few weeks after we actually recorded it. Because I, I think we talked a little bit about, like, uh, 2020, but not too much. But now we're actually in 2020. So, uh... I'm sure we are, Ethan. Let's see, things yeah. have changed. And I gotta say, that uh, last month uh, has been a hell of a year, man. Uh, let's see. Starting off the year strong with the virus. With the virus, oh, yeah. wildfires... Epic. It, it it really is shaping up to be a great year, isn't it? Apparently, it's where we live too now. The virus of the wildfires, because the wildfires have always it been was, here. There was a case I mean, in they're always here, but okay. I'm talking about the virus. Yeah. There's a man who's like self isolating right now, but he has the virus. Yeah. That's quite unfortunate. At least he's self isolating, not going around he's like. Yeah. Spread the news and the disease. It's looking to not be great. You know what? Spread okay. shit by spreading coronavirus. Dude, I... Like, at the beginning of this year, I was talking to these fools. I'm like, yo, you know that every 20s of every century, there's been some kind of, like, large outbreak of disease? And I made a tweet at the beginning of the year, and I said, polio will make a return in 2020. It's, polio, it's, but... it's, not, it's not polio, but... <laughs> it's not quite polio. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm like, hmm. I can't believe it. I was right. <laughs> but, uh... it's, like, it's, it's, like, it's like that, like one guy who. I mean, this is kind of morbid, but it's that one guy who like predicted in 2012 that like Kobe Bryant would die in a helicopter crash, and then um, and then it happened. Yikes! And that was um. Oh yeah, it's already starting to be a really bad year. Kobe Bryant dies. We have yeah. Coronavirus. Oh, my pen works. Dude, I can't believe. Like, I remember seeing the news, like, for that. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way that he's dead. It was crazy. I was like, is this some, is this some kind of, like, this some person's, like, poor taste of, like, a joke? I thought it was, like, uh, like an Onion article or something like that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was, it was wild. Like, everything, my, like, I don't even, like, watch sports, much less, like, basketball. Like, in my entire, like, feel, like, all my subreddits and stuff like that were blowing up about it. It was crazy. Like, absolutely wild. Reddit algorithm they figured out that Yo, you and, could and the capitalize YouTube, on this. The YouTube algorithms were going crazy on it. Like, what? I'm seeing a MKBHD video of, like with an interview with Kobe Bryant about his shoes, like from four years ago, popping in my feed. I'm like, wow, okay, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, because there, people are searching Someone up stuff about him. Let's make some money. Exactly. I'm, damn. Hold on one second. All right. Well, anyway. Let's get away from some of that depressing stuff. The more depressing stuff. Mm, sorry. 2020 plans. Right, like, uh... And I guess this kind of goes under, like, personal projects as well. But, uh... Do you guys have any, like, plans for this upcoming year? Am I gonna be trying to do anything? Uh... I don't know. Uh, I have lots of personal projects that I want to... I want to finish. Mr. Ravi is making um, a Minecraft clone. What? what? <laughs> I mean, like, I know that, uh, I, okay, so, I talked to Ravi about this. I've been thinking about making a comic for a long ass time. I made the first issue of it, uh, like, t two years ago now or something like that. And then I just, I scrapped it because I didn't like it. And now I'm like trying to rework it, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know because the thing is, there's a lot of stuff going on right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to come around to doing it soon. But uh, yeah, it's quite unfortunate, but I don't know. We'll see. Then uh, I want to start streaming my art stuff because I need to get more exposure because I do Clayton's thumbnails uh, part of the reasons why I did start doing Clayton's thumbnails was like first of all I thought his thumbnails looked terrible I'm like yo oh, yikes. your thumbnails look toxic <laughs> I mean look at his early thumbnails like his thumbnails were amazing stop putting him down asshole it's just shit <gasps> oh my god yeah. I do anything now listen no no one you no never one beat me as Violet. What the fuck? 
So no one is allowed to feel good on my watch, right? Especially <laughs> me. But like, um, because when I started doing his thumbnails, I don't know. Like I'm like, yo, you gotta make some of these look a little bit more appealing. Uh, so I decided to start drawing some of his stuff. One of his, uh, from an early uh, PUBG video, it's just the, like the what's it called? Like the banner of PUBG, you know what I mean? And it, it's just he wrote on it, like in MS Paint, "I'm bad, lol." And I'm like, no, he actually does use MS Paint. You know that, right? Because uh, it's for that, uh, a f what's it called? That feeling of MS Paint. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, the shitty feeling. I don't know what yeah, you there's it. There, there's more going on upstairs than what's than what it seems like on the surface. Yeah, but like, I'm I'm sitting here. I'm like, you gotta have some like nice looking stuff in it. So I decided to start drawing some of his stuff. Uh, Oi, your stuff looks like garbage. I'll fix it. Oi, Joske. <laughs> Oi, Joske. Yeah, but also it, it like makes me have to draw stuff. Like uh, I did. The most recent ones I did for him was the 2019 clips, or the 2018-2019 clips and the uh, Rex video, and I like the way that those thumbnails turned out. It's kind of like the second Rex video, right? His first. Really... He had a um, earlier Rex video. Was it, what was his first? Uh, t it wasn't. Yeah, it was One Punch for Rift to Green oh, Two. Oh, right? it was Loader. Yeah, it was oh, Loader. Sorry. I did that one as well. I like that one turned out, but I had to like heavily base the pose off of like something. I mean, just the foreshortening like took me so long. To, like. No, this is pretty ass, man. I like the I like the thumbnail for this um, the latest video actually. Very nice, very nice. Wait, which one? The one you just made, the Rex. Oh yeah, that one was. I'm starting to use Procreate again. I did it before, but I'm like, I wasn't like a huge fan of it. Then I went over to a one called like Sketchbook. I think is what it's called. I'm Autodesk? like, oh, that's yeah, Autodesk Sketchbook. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. But I, I'm going back to Procreate because, uh, I don't know, like, you get a little bit better. You get better brushes and stuff like that, so. Uh. But the, uh, the, I don't like the straight edge tool on a Procreate because, like, you don't really have a straight edge tool. You just have to hold the line. It's, uh, quite annoying. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm. But uh, do you Does have like a brush stabilizer? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, like if you hold, you make a line and you hold it, it will eventually become a uh, straight line. I've only art software I've used it was um, what's it called? Manga Studio? No, Clip Studio. Or this is the same thing. Clip Studio. I, I feel like they're different, but yeah. I I don't know. I don't know art programs that well. Uh, yeah, honestly, like that. I don't either. <laughs> something like that, and I was like, okay. I made one drawing and I stopped. Nice. Hey, speaking of drawing things, um, Ethan. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, speaking of drawing, because remember, uh, I also have personal projects. Um, as a with one other person and, and Ethan, where I'm working on the game project, and. So far, I've been doing all the arts, but I'm a programmer, which means by extension, I'm bad at it. And so I've tried to bring in, try to bring Ethan on to give us better artwork. Yeah, I, I'll get to, I'll get to it eventually. The problem is, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. Like uh, this upcoming, maybe this weekend I might be able to, but I got to start looking into apartments. Okay. Um, cause. Uh, like I told you, I do, but I, I'm, I'm in retrospect, I'm realizing I'm, I signed on at a pretty bad time for me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm like, yeah, I mean, we're, so we can we, we can work with the um, with the placeholders. Um, it's just a little bit more, little difficult. Uh, is the is your mm -hmm. project the uh, tanks or is it something? Else? Yes, that one. Okay. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's something that you you want to keep too secret, considering how much you're posting about it on the clay cord, right? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, so like, uh, it's pretty fun because I, I I gotta play a a build of it. I heard from someone that Clay is starting a human trafficking ring in Clay Corn, but I'm kind of scared. No, 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 no he's like, no, no, no. you see, first, first he's a furry. <laughs> first and foremost, he's a furry. So human trafficking comes later. 
it, just... it, it's it's the natural this, progression this of things. This podcast is gonna get him canceled one day. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be the ones to pull up the first clay god scandal. <laughs> and it's not even gonna be real. It's gonna be fabricated. Sister <laughs> scandal. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone's gonna go digging around looking for like old content and they're gonna see this mentioned and be like, oh, this is the truth. This is what happened 10 ish years ago. Clay's gonna become like a, a director in like uh, some like, com- uh, some like maybe. Uh, That's like, some crazy. Com- Clay could never do a anything. Tech of use. Company. He's gonna become oh. an editor. I don't Ow. see him becoming no, no, a director. He's gonna become a data scientist. He's oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then he's like, he's talking with his, uh, his co worker, and then one day it comes out that he tweeted about, um, uh, Let's look down his Twitter. What's something we can shit on him for? Where's Clay? And we're flaming him so much that he's not even here. I want him to hear this. I know, exactly. right? He, he said he would eventually. be here, but he will here are. eventually. What? Yeah, he will hear it eventually. <laughs> yeah. Double checking if people can record the podcast at 3 p.m. specific tomorrow. React with thumbs up or thumbs down for no, right? So, me and, me and uh, Ravi put a uh, thumbs up and. Oh no, is Joshua put it down. And then Clay says, sure, after. And then uh, David said, maybe, I think so. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, he, did, he, didn't even follow, he didn't even follow the direction. He said, sure, instead of putting a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Exactly. Thank you, Clayton. <laughs> That's not the problem. The problem is he said yes and then didn't show I mean, I also just said maybe or I think so. <laughs> I think so. Just add, add a different reaction if you, if you don't make a yes or a no. All right. Uh, um, Put the petition Discord to add the uh, I did it. charming flag. You just have a DE. I I mean Gertrude. I am Gertrude. Wait, stop. From what? what? I, he added me. Who added who? Clay added me. What? In what? Tell him to join. What? <laughs> we're tw- we're twenty two minutes in and he hasn't shown up yet. This is really not a gamer moment. It really isn't. This is. Not, yeah. Where is he, dude? Oh my god. He's supposed Doesn't to he be like, here. Yes, like the like least going on on out out of all of us, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Hopefully he'll be here soon. I don't know. I need I need to put him in the thumbnail and title. That this is gonna be the title of the podcast: First Clay God Scandal. <laughs> That's how I get. Don't, don't don't name it that. We don't we don't want to name it <laughs> of like of like down the line it just comes back and bites him because that that would be bad. Bad for him, but think about all bad, the traffic it'll bad, get for us. Bad for us too. It would like backflow onto all of us. We're like sitting here <laughs> blasting him. He's not even here. You're like, wait a minute, hold on. This is this is slander. <laughs> Oh my okay, god. Okay, Clay's busy apparently. He can't do it today. Okay, he's not lied today, to us. Tomorrow. Not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> if you want to reschedule for tomorrow, <laughs> can we, do can, it. Can we just like, can, can you make like a little like profile picture for Clay and called shirt? Then it's just a sure TM. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> maybe tomorrow TM. <laughs> <laughs> not today, maybe tomorrow. Maybe that's what this podcast will be called. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called, that, not that's good today, one. maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, according to Clay, he thought it was Sunday, not Saturday. What? I said tomorrow yesterday. <laughs> what? what do you mean? <laughs> so out of... I I I offered to like give send him a build of the game, right? Cause I given it to to you and to Arian and to um and uh, Gillian. I went to I asked Clay and he says Wait, he you literally said he said huh? No, I, not, not, uh, if you want one, I can give you one. Sure. Um, Later on though. I, I I told him, do you want to play a build of the game? And he says verbatim. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> he literally said exactly that. He says not today, I told maybe you, tomorrow. It's, a it's something he always says. He he says it to all of us. Not you today, know, baby, I, tomorrow. I can't. Oh and my tomorrow god. Tomorrow comes in this exact same thing. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Not today, maybe tomorrow. I'm I'm just gonna put this in his jet in his talkie time chat, y'all. I'm just gonna say, Clayton's gonna trademark not today, maybe. <laughs> No, no, we should we should trademark that first. I, I, I'm gonna like 
So like if someone asks yeah. if someone asks me for like when the next update is coming, if we end up shipping this, I'm gonna make sure at some point I'm gonna say not today, maybe tomorrow. Oh, like, uh, not today. Wait, every single thumbnail you make for him, put it next to like his character or his face or whatever, just say, we'll have to <laughs> say not, today. <laughs> not today, maybe tomorrow. Just sneak it in like transparentish like text you like put in the corner. Exactly. Oh my god. You know, so when do you get a when do you claim when do you get to trademark like, that phrase? I don't know. Not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Clayton in the workforce, and you know, his boss is just like, um, you need to have this done by today. Not today. <laughs> Not today, maybe tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you, you ain't wrong. Oh my god. Toxic. It, it really toxic, is. Quite toxic. It really is toxic. I, I can't believe he was, he's been playing all of us all this time. We've been played, dude. It's oh been my like, god. I'm just gonna say, it's been like, it's been like 236 um, tomorrows, and he still has not played fucking Soul at Stake. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not our fault, because we thought his tomorrow would ever come. <laughs> it's, 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 I feel like this is gonna be like this is gonna be Clayton like paying out his student loans like, like <laughs> oh <laughs> his landlord's gonna come over you gotta pay rent my man uh, not today maybe tomorrow <laughs> his landlord's just like it's been six through three tomorrows <laughs> I need the money now <laughs> when's tomorrow gonna come where's my money where's my money. <laughs> I don't think Clayton really processes what tomorrow means. <laughs> tomorrow is a time that's not now. Not today. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is some, like, 5D chess he's playing. I love this. This is something we can all connect to. <laughs> oh. Something that unites us today is not today, maybe tomorrow. The to okay, for me, <laughs> I just witnessed it. It's never happened to me. Oh my god. It's always, dude, it has always happened. I asked him last night, so do you want to play Smash? They said to me, uh, not right now. I'm like, maybe do later. Remember, do you remember oh, yeah, not right now, maybe screenshot. later. Do you remember my screenshot where I went to this chat and searched up not today and there were like 63 results? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my 89. god. It's increased. <laughs> oh my god. Of all the topics that we would talk about on the podcast, I did not imagine that talking about claims just... What, what would this be called? Not like indecisiveness. It's more like it's just he he defer he's a deferring lack of it. commitment. Well, no, it's not. It's <laughs> not. We're, we're at, well, we're asking him on a whim, really. So it, it's, it's like, like, a lack of it's um, more like procrastination. He, or it's, it's like he defers it, and I think he really, really does expect that he'll get to it, and then he like forgets, or he. Can you wait, like, uh, Ethan? Else I'm gonna post a screenshot. Can you can you make this kind of like the. Uh... 89 results. I'll put oh, the, I'll put this in the thumbnail. Today. Wait, no, it's not get screenshot. 89 results is blocked. blocked. Just, just, you can just you can retake it, but make sure you move your mouse before you uh for you. All right, screenshot. this will be the one moment where I have to go back into the the recording to edit this in. This well, let me see. Screenshot not today, for me. Not today maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, search for search for maybe later as well. Okay, so I gotta I gotta put a, uh, David, a time you slot. Enter and I'll show the results without like that. Like, yeah, for I, me. I have. I have 94 not todays. Nice. <laughs> nice. Can we all, can have... everyone just make a collection, please? Wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Later, no. <laughs> Shit, about 28 minutes in is where I'm going to have to edit in all these screenshots. 41, I 41, can't. hold on. This has to be, actually, you should, do you want me to make mine uh, smaller and not include the clay god? I think you get the idea. 94. I only have 30. <laughs> Not today, Probably. maybe tomorrow. I can't. Wait, how many? How many maybe are there? Oh my god! Search for maybe. All maybe right. Maybe. But some of them are from me. So let's let's explain. Maybe. The ones what is me. maybe? Oh wait, I might have said that. I <laughs> Do you want to play Smash? Maybe later. You want to come? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, you want to go out this weekend? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna switch up. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if he goes out, do you still want to watch? Yeah. Maybe. I, I have 46 maybes from him. <laughs> Are you still down or not? Maybe do it another time. <laughs> uh, I, don't think, I don't think I've gotten them. Okay, it's actually. Times from him. Wait, what? Oh, my Wait, the, God. the results? I have 49 maybes from him. Right. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, shit, actually, on. the search isn't accurate. Badly. Look at this. Yeah, it's it not as hard. accurate as possible. I said not today, <laughs> it says just today. Yeah, I've had a few of those as well. But it's, it's, it's doing, it's doing, um, in, it's doing like either search, like, like not or today, not. It's like, it's, like doing, it's like a Google search where it like. Maybe if I. It can. What if I do both around it? Will it tomorrow. work? Not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> maybe. Well, we maybe the being thing. the key word in this sentence. <laughs> 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 Oh my minutes. god. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. Yo, let's, let's, let's move on. For dunking Clayton, let's not dunk on him so much. For this last thing, where I made a topic in this podcast for him. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do it without him. Games we're thi- we, we've recently played we haven't talked about, or games that we think or that we want to play that are coming out in the future. Let's see. Um, I'm Castle Crashers video. Dude, Castle Crashers is so much fun. Cyberpunk. Left 4 Dead 2 was the fucking <laughs> best. Holy oh shit. my god, I, re- I remember when we pushed Spencer into the hole and threw Molotov cocktails in there <laughs> yeah. with him. Or, Ariens, oh my god, don't worry guys, I got this. And then you die from like fall damage or something. <laughs> I was gonna say giving that. healing claim with the last medkit and he immediately runs <laughs> Oh my away. god <laughs> You know what? I'm like oh I'm like, okay, so either I give this to him or I give this to me, because I'm gonna die soon too. I know Clayton's better at shooter games, I'll give this to him. He's like, Thanks <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> let me repay you by killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> we should play Left 4 Dead 2 again. Oh my god. So much fun. We should. I really want that Minecraft. We never, we never to finished. Work. Our, we never finished everything. I thought we did. I mean, I, no, we did. We no, totally I, did. Oh, did you? You guys did it without Pete. Then I finished everything on my own because I got it before you guys because I'm better. Yeah, sure. <laughs> keep keep sure. telling yourself. That's not going to the podcast, is it? It is. Okay. No. E- everything goes in the podcast. It all it all goes in. There's oh, no, no part that doesn't. Every part of it goes in. <coughs> I'm dying. There should be a day where, like, for a podcast, every single time I start saying something, you just immediately cut it out. Oh, dude, that's so like, much editing. The first word. But, oh, but no, it... no, it should be the first, like, sound of it, like, David's voice is played, and then it cuts cuts off. Like, so you yeah. know, we yeah. should he... do a podcast no, we... and have it, like, a, to, in... Give that job to Clay, because he has, he has an incredible amount of patience. <laughs> yeah, he's been, he's been waiting to play Soul at Stake for like 200 days. Didn't he like not play CoinCrypt for two years or something like three. that? It was three. three. He said he, he, oh, yeah, he, you... So he bought it and said, oh, okay, I'm willing to try it because I, I suggested it to him because it was like a roguelike. I thought it would be his kind of game. And he's like, oh, I actually really like this game. It's really good. I was like, cool, so you're going to play it, right? He played it three years later and said, oh my god, this was fun. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh my It's god. the build up. It's the build up. Do you think he would have had as much fun? No. Right, if you played it instantly, you, exactly. It's forty chess. It's 40 chess. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this is this is the best. This is the the best or worst example, depending on how you look at it. Is <laughs> you have to build the suspense game for three years and then opened it and played it and said, "Yeah, this is fun." So we went from <laughs> shit. shitting on Clayton to saying we're not going to shit on Clayton to going directly back to shitting on Clayton. <laughs> how did this happen? Every single conversation of mine with Clayton, I just shit on him. I I'm don't sorry, know how to interact with him otherwise. Dude, that's, that's just that's that's you with every relationship, yeah, that's, my that's man. That's a you problem. Okay, well, Clayton also like threatens me constantly, so I don't see how it's not fair. Dude, I don't it's, think we've it's played. Not, it. It's not a serious. He never seriously like threatens anyone. He's like, I'm gonna beat you, kind well, of thing. That's 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 not a threat. That is. Either. Well, I don't ever put Clayton down seriously. I just think he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. The, the way we all talk is like, I don't I, know. I it's to beat Clayton too. What the? I don't understand. I think we should stop talking behind his back. It's yeah. Not right. It's not right. I it's sent, this, I, I sent these screenshots to Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Clayton is aware of the problem at this point because we have talked to him about it. 
god. No, I'm just gonna be straight up. I was the first person to confront Clan, and I spammed him with these fucking screenshots. And I don't think spamming him's gonna be the right no. idea to right. do it. Well, I literally spam. It was when I was I, I uh the re I, the first time I confronted him, it was about a game because uh you know he I, I I he got he won like um a giveaway and uh, that I invited him to because he was like this game looks fun. Um, and then I was kind of like playing like oh people, yeah people, people, people were in this giveaway they wanted the game you won and then you just didn't play it after saying you would play it for two weeks straight and then, so that's when I got kind of annoyed and then there was also the Obone festival and I was like okay you know what? and I just like put in the search bar that's why I suggested I put in the search bar like not today or something and there were like 80 results and I was like Clayton this is becoming a problem uh, <laughs> all right. in fairness to him two weeks isn't that long <laughs> I don't know I guess Anyway, okay, but three years kind of is. <laughs> and, yes, anyway, games, <laughs> games are under a different circumstance, though. Yeah. Games are looking forward to. I mean, I know that the new Persona games are coming out. I'm looking forward to those. Like, Five R. Uh, yeah, uh, the Royal uh, Scramble. Scramble looks a lot of fun. I thought Scramble was gonna be crap. Like, I saw that. I'm like, yo, I've already played like five different versions of this game before. And I saw a gameplay of it. I'm like, oh, you know that actually looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, and it's gonna be on Switch. Not the Royal. Not, not P4. Not, not Persona not 5. Not or 4. P4. Or 3. But one day, Shin Megami Tensei 5 will be on it. I don't know when. But one day it will be. Because they made a trailer for it in 2017. And we have not heard anything about it since. Sounds like Bayonetta. <laughs> Oh, Yo, ba play. Metroid Four Prime Four. They showed off a P oh. a JPEG, and it's like this game's coming out. Oh my god! How long ago was that? That was either they 2017 did. or 18, I think. Yeah. <laughs> There's new rumors. The Switch Pro is probably not coming out in 2020, so that means Bayonetta Three and Metroid Prime is not coming out this year. Yeah, Bayonetta Wait, Three showed off a JPEG, I think. Did they even show off a JPEG of Bayonetta Three? Yeah. They did. Okay. The logo? Okay, so they did show off the logo. Oh man. Okay, uh, but Animal Crossing is coming up. Uh, I want to play. Yeah, I'll probably play that. Have you ever played an Animal Crossing game? I've watched the full playthrough of New Leaf. So. I've never I did played when Animal I was Crossing. A kid. I, I have played, like, not the either. Animal Crossing when I was a kid. It was fun. I liked pushing people and making them angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that really is symptomatic of you in real life. What the hell? You do this in real life as well. This is not correct. Um, <laughs> You're right. It's not correct. It's right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. I'm not going to say what I said before. <laughs> it's not a choice. <laughs> okay. It's a decision. <laughs> okay. Two games that are newly coming out that I, I, I thought it was for, uh, The Forest 2. Which oh yeah! Exciting. I'm so hyped for the forest too. I just I, I hope um, the story's a little bit less lonely. I just hope there's like other characters. I mean, I think the being alone in the forest is part of the fear, but oh yeah. Also, it looks, it looks like below you're... zero is coming out in June, yeah, like full release. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then okay, uh, has anyone played Legends of Runeterra? Do I have to? I... <laughs> <don't> <laughs> no, know. I, 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 I haven't I, played I'm it. I'm gonna be yet. honest. I do not like it. Really. <laughs> I've only heard, like, people... Except for Shree. Uh, but people are like, yeah, this game's fun. I like this game. Um, I think it's kind of cool, but also I feel like compared to other card games, it's a little bit slower paced in the sense... Like, you know, the attack block rotation? Like, that's not the most fun thing, in my opinion, but that might, that might just be me looking... Like, with uh, games like that, I prefer something a little more, like, direct. Um, but I also just don't like how... Like, it's... It, uh, I was talking to a friend friend of mine about it, and it was kind of just like, you know, like, some champions, there's so many, like, broken combos, <laughs> like, it, it's one of those, I mean, well, every card game like that has broken combos, but also, it's Pot like, of greed. <laughs> oh my god, dude, Pot of Greed. Oh my god. In <laughs> Legends of Runeterra, I don't know, it just feels kind of like, oh, I just lost this turn, like, just w one turn, like, you can lose super quickly. <laughs> what? Which is fine, but... <laughs> also, there's like apparently like a very I, I don't know this is only what I've heard because I didn't really put that much time into it I put like a few matches in and I was like well, I don't think this is for me but they were kind of just like there's like a very defined meta and every single fucking game I play against like the same fucking deck and I was like well that's not I mean it's in beta so it's understandable but like yeah we'll have to see on the official release hopefully it gets better I don't know yeah. like uh, there are definitely games where I'll, I'll like put in like even with a swim match I'm like 
I don't like this game. That was Mortal Kombat for me. I hate Mortal Kombat. Like... In come the Mortal Kombat fans to dislike this video. Yeah. Street Fighter's I, I, better. I'll get the Street Fighter I, fans in here to help me out. I like, more, I like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter fans I'm also like just shit at it and I have no one to play it with because Brandon doesn't play games that much anymore. Yeah, and here's the other thing. You haven't bought the SD card with the money That's I gave true. you. So you can't have Smash and Mortal Kombat on your Switch at the same time. Instead, like true. an idiot, you have to delete one of the games and download the other. Easy. It Meanwhile. only takes like 10 hours, so... Why, why is there such little amount of space on the Switch? Like, you think that since That's a Nintendo the... thing, like, yeah. every console... It's got like 16 gigabytes, right? It's not a lot. It's... Yeah. That's but a, like, Smash the, is like... I think the Wii what, U had like 32 gigs or yeah, something. Yeah, the Wii... And, no, the Wii U Deluxe had 32. The Wii U, the white one, the basic one, had 8. Ooh, eight, that's terrible. Okay. Like, no one remembers you, that. You gotta, you gotta put more. You gotta put more oh. memory on it. You know, I remember, uh, like, getting my Xbox One. I was, I forgot, I had, like, a lot of storage on it. I'm like, damn, dude. Yeah, like, like this is a lot of storage. Right but yeah, here's the thing. Gigs. Here's the thing about the P Xbox One. Is for some dumbass reason, you have to actually download the game, even if you buy a physical copy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's because the discs have an internet installer on them. Exactly, like, why? Yeah, they have an Xbox because okay, Ethan, I'm opening your I'm opening That's your e-gift card right now, and I just open it. But the problem is, then why do you need to put insert the disc anymore? <laughs> yeah, because it, it saves you the downloading the installer. That's all it saves you, and because you can now have a cartridge with the. And are, usually, the disc. Aren't, like, but you you can't you can't play the game without putting the disc in. The point of the disc is like, hey, I have the game. I want to be able to play as soon as I put it into my console, and then it's like, no, you have to download the entire game. So I, I got like two games and my entire memory was just like eaten up. Have you disconnecting your console from the internet and trying to play a new game with a disc and what happens? No, no I haven't no, because I quickly stopped using that thing. No, because the, the problem is that like I think something like, like Blu-ray doesn't have enough, because they're using Blu-ray I believe to store games, right? Yeah. Well, Blu-ray doesn't have that that real, relatively to DVD, it has a lot, but relative it, to it's you like know, 22 a nice D card, <laughs> it's not that much. And so, unless you like yeah, you have to basically at the, at the start when you're making your game, you have to plan and say, "I'm going to release this on CD." If you don't, then there's in this day and age, there's, never, there's no way it's going to actually fit on the CD. Yeah, yeah. it's like and for like consoles like the Wii U, um, where basically when you boot the game, it like restarts the console and boots it onto the CD, and you had to actually have the game on the CD because if you didn't, then it wouldn't run. But a console like an Xbox is literally just like a window. It's 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 basically a Windows computer, um, and it launches the game as a as a process. And so, they can just say, "Oh, you have the CD. Well, let's make an alias to the game." <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It was annoying. I didn't like it. I got like Assassin's Creed Four, and I had to wait like ten hours to download that thing. I'm like, I'm gonna just go back to my Wii U. It, it's. I don't know. Dude, I don't like Xbox. I used to love Xbox. I used to adore it, especially because of Halo. But like, as time has gone on, like I'm like, yo, know, this kind of sucks. Like, well, it's it's basically it's they're I mean consoles from I think PlayStation and like um, Xbox. They're they're basically just PCs with a slimmed down interface. Yeah. Um, if you if you think about it, it's a box. It has the exact same components. Yeah. I mean, the Xbox and literally, it, they actually added support for keyboard and mouse, so you can actually play games with a keyboard and mouse on an Xbox. Yeah, I don't um, know. But yeah, they're they're just overpriced PCs at this point. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you see the uh, Xbox X is what it's called, right? Yeah, I have series, no idea. Series X. It's, it's called Series X. One X. The Series X. Is that what it's actually called? It's called the Series X. Yes. Oh my the god, Xbox dude! They should have just X kept with like Project X. Scarlet or something. Dude, it looks Xbox bad. Scarlet, that would have been a good name. It looks bad, Scarlet dude. Not Scarlet. Scarlet looks so nice. And then, speaking of names for like products, there's a new Samsung phone. There, the name for the pro like thing was called Bloom, but then now they're calling the Galaxy Z Flip. Like, what type? Like, the Bloom sounds way better. Bloom sounds better. I don't know. I don't think the Scarlet looks really interesting. It, 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 no, it's, it's a, literally a, a PC. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a PC. I don't know who they're trying to appeal to. Because if no, you everyone, everyone and no one. Um, it it looks like if you remember the like cylindrical Mac Pro, 
Yes, yeah, it looks so, like one of those had a child with a Corsair one. Well, yes, Cor <laughs> it looks like Corsair. It looks exactly like Corsair. With the like, kind of Apple-y kind of design language. That's that's what it reminds me of. You know, also, when they like looked, like when they t tilted the camera to the top where they show that green LED fan kind of thing, that looked exactly like how a PC reveal would do. Like, uh, like for a pre-built. I mean, well, we'll have to see what the price. PC. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's basically what it is. Like, we'll have to see what the price for it is. But like, you're basically buying a Terra at that point. I feel like if you really want to, because it's all about performance. They're only talking about performance. Like, you have to sell me on that's, the that's, games. That's what. That's one thing I think like Nintendo does that. Because um, Nintendo's yeah. way Nintendo of is, yeah. is by games like in their quality. Yeah, exactly. Their right. I feel like that's how you because Xbox One was kind of a failure. If I'm gonna be honest, like, oh. I mean. In, well, in retrospect to other stuff. Say it did okay. It, like, yes, but it's, it's not like, you know. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, I think you're going for it. It's unexceptional. Yes, yes, that's what I meant to say. That was yeah. my hot take. It's like... It's not a failure. It's just, it's just not very interesting. Yeah, because the whole thing is I feel like Xbox is carried, at least at this point, I feel like it's often just carried by the brand of it. Like, because... Like, oh, people yeah. are like, yeah. oh, that's an Xbox, you know? You know, everyone knows what an Xbox is, right? But, like, name one good game on the Xbox you couldn't get on another, uh... Forza. <laughs> I mean, hey, Halo, but For Forza's literally on the Windows Store. You can play on your laptop. Seriously? Dude, okay, okay. Yeah. Halo 5 yeah. was bad. Halo 5 was a bad game. And I will fight you if you tell me otherwise. Dude, okay. Halo 5 I've never played Halo 5, so I can't, I can't argue with you on that. Okay, how about, how about the there is War? no, no local multiplayer on Halo 5. Oh, Why? It's, internet based? it's only internet based. It's so dumb. And the other thing is, the art style I think was pretty bad too. Like visually, looks nice, right? You're like, it looks like a cinematic story, right? But when you actually play the game, everything just becomes a blur of colors, and you can't tell what's happening, dude. There's like original Halo, right? You had like these really gray backgrounds, right? Or like yeah, they're like kind of muted. Like yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, I've noticed that about a lot of old games. I think just because they couldn't like do lighting, and so they didn't want to make everything too bright. Because yeah. Then it would just look washed out, so they made everything more muted. And yeah. I noticed that that's pretty common with older games. And then as the as they got the ability to draw limited shadows, they made it a little brighter, and they went on. But the problem is that if you like make it too bright, even with the new the new stuff, it looks bad. Yeah, because the thing is with the original Halo, you had these muted backgrounds, right? Part of it was technological limitations, but the models of the characters were very bright. Like, you could obviously tell, like, what an elite was, right? What the grunts were. You're like, okay, this is a bad guy, and I could shoot at them, and I could see them easily, right? But in this game, everything looks kind of the same in terms of colors. Like, everything oh, blurs together. It, yeah, it's really hard Sounds to like, differentiate. Uh, it's like the Counter Strike problem where they have introduced new models and yeah. everything was blended in. Yeah, like the, everything blends in with the background, right? Like it's hard to tell what's going on, and that is the biggest problem. Because for a game like a first-person shooter, like I don't play first-person shooters that much anymore, but like you know, visual clarity, I'd imagine, would be very important. If you don't yeah. have that, it becomes much more difficult to play the game, mm -hmm. right? Like, and I don't like Halo Five. I do not like that game. I, I played it for like two hours. I'm like, this game sucks. And I stopped playing. Like campaign? Yeah. Well, I think, but like one other thing I think like, so I mean Nintendo's never been on the the forefront of like the latest and greatest hardware, and because what they, because if you, if you look at the history of how of what um, Nintendo consoles have cost compared to competitors, I mean aside from the N64, which is actually c compared to the, like the PlayStation One and. Uh, um, it was actually technologically superior, but the um, the the they're what they're going for is they find old hardware that's cheap, it's cheap and reliable. Um, if you look at like example, what's powering the Nintendo Switch is a Nvidia Tegra X1 system on a chip. That's like five which, years old now, right? Yeah, it's like five years old. If I can look it up. Uh, but I mean, the point the point is is that it's a cheap and but it's reli it's a reliable piece of hardware, and and so because of that. The Switch retails for what? It's like two hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred. It's three hundred bucks, I think. But doesn't like the the Xbox retails for like five hundred dollars or something more than that in some cases. Yeah, um, I think it's I think it's four hundred. Yeah, it depends yeah. on which yeah. model of Xbox you're getting yeah, as the, well. The point is, is that they they want the consoles to be cheap and by extension accessible, um, and so the only way to do that really, if you don't want to, 
if you don't want to have oh. bad hardware, is to have old reliable hardware. And then they focus on making differentiating the console in some way. If you think look at like the history of how Nintendo consoles have changed, um, there's always some like you know forefront like gimmick that they they that they have. Like if you look at like the Wii, the Wii was, was the motion player. controls. The, uh, uh, Wii, Wii U is the gamepad. Yeah, and the Switch is. Thing is that it, it can be anywhere. Um, I don't really know what the like. N64's quirk Actually, was it really was The 3D. N64 quirk yeah. was if there's 3D, it's also the 3D controller. Good. The idea yeah, behind control. So as much as we want to like go back and shit on the N64 controller, like conceptually it was really interesting because the idea is uh behind it is you could have different ways to play a video game, right? Right. Like I mean say, I, always, I always found the, the three prongs funny because it's like three three handles for your three hands. Yeah, exactly. Like so we look back at it in retrospect, we're like, okay, this is kind of crap, but like conceptually it was really interesting because it's like, okay, these physical different ways to play, right? Like, hey, maybe you're playing this game, you're like, I want to use the face buttons and the joystick, but someone's also like, well, I'd rather use the D-pad instead, so then you could just kind of move your uh, your hands yeah. around. Also, that joystick be, is bad. Yeah. But they, but even Nintendo's first party <laughs> games, they didn't even utilize it. Yeah. That, really, so. Yeah, and it kind of just became that, that weird looking controller that like... That like basically if you want to sum up the like late nineties in, in one picture it would be of the N sixty four controller. Yeah. Oh my god. Like uh oh But my. but yeah that's that's a, that's there's a reason why the, the switches sold like hotcakes and the um Xboxes have not both because they're cheap but also because they're different and they're yeah. actually interesting. The the other I thing mean, about like hey, one of the reasons why Nintendo kinda designs their stuff about it is like there's a design philosophy in Japan. The idea of like trying to produce as little waste as possible. Right, it's the way that uh, like production works there. It, because uh, for like fighting games and stuff like that, right? If you want to use a fight stick, there is a uh, different parts that you use. Right, uh, in the beginning, like it, of arcade cabinets, right? Because that's where the fight stick originated from. Yeah, it was uh, like your controls were very designed, like set up for the game itself. Like uh, what is it? Galaga had like a two-way joystick, right? Um, because you only need to go two ways. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this game's got more complex, they introduced a four-way joystick, right? And, uh, as, like, you know, for fighting games, you have eight-way joysticks and stuff like that, right? What the U.S. and, like, other areas did is they changed the gate that you used on the joystick, right? Which basically determines which way the joystick could face. Mm -hmm. Uh, before it was a square that was set up, uh, it was tilted to be, like, a diamond, right? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the U.S. and other nations switch out the, uh, the gate. And they make it a circle, right? So it's like, okay, now I can point this in every direction. But yeah. Japan just tilted their thing to be just a normal square, right? So that's the gate for that. And the reason why, I think, I think I'm not sure about this, but I'm pretty sure the reason why is because they had extra parts of the older gates, and they decided to just use it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, but on that same vein, isn't isn't like Sony a Japanese company? Uh, yeah. And but they but they're following the very like Xboxy kind of. Yeah, kind of I mean it's a, it's a general rule of thumb. Like it's not like every you Japanese like production yeah. thing does that. Like I say, like you're, you're, I you're, think you're, it's more of a Nintendo. I think it's a more other... Nintendo philosophy, not that rather than a. I don't. know, It was like, like a huge Japanese philosophy as I well. I know, like most of the time when uh, Nintendo made like a technologically superior console, it would not do well. Like the GameCube well, was yeah. apparently like super. Yeah, so the, 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 the GameCube wasn't, but the N64 was. N64. But the N64 was hamstrung by a different problem. So, the N64 took cartridges. Um, the PlayStation One took CDs, and you can't store much in a cartridge, but you can store far more information on a CD. And so, while the N64 had fantastic load times because flash the, memory, you, when you insert the cartridge in, the cartridge becomes part of the addressable memory of the console, and so. You can just read from it, like you can read from, from memory. But with a versus with a CD, you have to actually like you know dump out what's in your memory and then you know go seek on the CD for the spot and then read it off. Um, so it had fantastic load times. But the problem is, is that you're just limited to how much you can store on a console. Like Mario 64 is like 80 kilobytes or something, and that was like pushing it. Um, Crash Team Racing for the PlayStation One is like two gigabytes, and it actually looks it lo it looks a lot better than Mario Kart 64 because they could do because with the extra space even though the PlayStation 2 I mean the PlayStation 1 was far inferior in terms of hardware from the N64 
they could store more on the on the cartridge. And so they had actually had space for things like cart models, and they could do ba like they had enough space so they could actually invert the the map and do like basic reflections and things like that. The N sixty four had there's no way to do that. There's just not enough space. And so that was it. Even though the um, N sixty four was was a um, was notable because it had a 64-bit silicon graphics part in it to power it, which was actually, which was actually a really um, powerful part at the time. You just couldn't do anything with it. Yeah. It's like, and Mario Kart 64, the only 3D things in the entire game is like the track. Everything else is 2D sprites on planes, and they like rotate the plane to look at the camera, and they kind of fake 3D by redrawing the characters in different orient, in like. It's like six, 64, I think, different uh, degrees. Um, and they fake it that way. But you, you can tell. If you look at the cars, you can see they don't rotate smoothly. Yeah, because yeah. they're different sprites. Because they're, they're different smoothly. sprites. And, and because when the camera gets close, you can see them pixelate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Which is like, Sonic the crash team racing <laughs> didn't have that problem because they made all most things in that game were 3D because the PlayStation 1 had a different problem. Which is that it couldn't really do transparency sorting that efficiently. And so it was actually cheaper to make things 3D on the PlayStation 1 than it was to make them 2D with transparency. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just the design of the console and the programming of that. Yeah, so. they, just, they didn't have good hardware for that in, the, in that console. Yeah. Talk about consoles. Do you know that apparently, so, like, I guess in retrospect you could look at it, there's, like, some kind of, like, for people who like consoles, there's the idea of, like, a, a third console curse on, like, companies, where... The third console of each company, like, does not do well financially. Like, NES, uh, SNES, and then was the third one? Uh, N64. It was uh, N64 for Nintendo, right? Uh, that did not do well. Then we, the GameCube, we, and then we hit the second third console for Nintendo, the Wii U. And we all know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the, Wii, the Wii U was. The Wii U, if you look at the console itself, it was fine. The problem is they marketed it very badly. The, the, it was marketed as, like, an extension to the base Wii. And I think... They only showed the game. That's what people thought it yeah. was. It, it, was the title the of the Wii U sounds like the title of an extension. Like... Yeah, like like the Famicom, like, like disc extension. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like... I, I, I'm looking at this. It looks like it's the worst-selling um, uh, Nintendo console. Oh, yeah, no, it sold terribly. I wouldn't, yeah. It's like it sold. Which is a real shame because there are some there are some solid games in that. Game. Yeah, I, I, it's like all the game was the the console was carried by the games. Like I, I really don't like the gamepad extension. It died too easily. It, it's I you play for like an hour and your console or your gamepad dies, and a decent amount of the games did require the also the, the range of the gamepad. Yes, like, there are yeah, some games that you can play but, on the gamepad itself only. Like if you went but, to the Wii. And, yeah. and, and while the um the tech in the gamepad was I think it puts a rather poor use in the Wii U. I think that if they could use technology like that for like VR headsets, I think that could be really, really good because kind of one of the problems with the VR heads is that you have these cables. Oh yeah, and you get tangled around if you're moving too much. You get tangled much. around them, you could trip on them, you yank them out and damage your Actually, stuff. Actually, um, with um, but and I know that there's like some self-contained ones that like have they do the yeah, processing the Oculus on board. Rift S. The problem with the Oculus Rift S is that it it does the processing on on board. Ooh. I mean, and so. Not Oculus, uh, not Oculus, not Oculus, the Oculus Quest. It does Quest, a, Quest, sorry. Quest. It has a, basically what's equivalent to an Android phone. Yeah. Powering it. That's a problem because Android, the Android phone hardware they, they picked isn't that good. And so you, but you're basically, you're limited to mobile VR titles. And I do know that there are, like, adapters you can get for, for um, VR headsets that will, like, kind of convert the signal into a wireless signal and then they pick it up on their side. But that's heavy, but, um, and that takes a lot of battery. Like, you heavy, can wear a backpack, yeah. like... The console was not designed... The, the, uh, the headset was not designed for that. And so if they could use... If they, could, if they designed a new headset, uh, and they designed it with kind of the Wii U, like, gamepad thing, if they designed it in, with that in mind, so they had the right batteries on it to power that, and it had all the things designed to make that work, then you have a solid a solid experience. The only without problem... being limited with by, by the onboard hardware. But the only problem right now is we don't have, let's say, the battery technology is not good enough for like a lot of sustained play. The processing power for a small package is not there yet. So, like, well, actually, I, I actually disagree with that because if you, like, example, an iPhone can play video for like something like six hours or something without that's, dying. That's video, right? But yeah, but but think about it. They had the the headset 
would basically be streaming video. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah. If you, so the idea would be you have like a console idea and it would oh, stream mean, mean, visuals oh, to your so headset. So wirelessly uh, broadcast to the yeah, phone it's, when it's, it's basically there. it's like the Wii U gamepad. It's a, it's a wireless display with controls attached to it. And then, and then you have to talk to haggle the problem of like latency between that because if yeah. you're gonna. Well, I mean, it depends on how the late. The gamepad didn't really have a latency problem because it was a short range, short yeah. range thing, and they and so. If you're playing with it, like, suppose you have like a play space, like a room, right? Mm -hmm. And your computer is in that room, uh, and you have an antenna on it or something, that would be fine because you're not. I mean, VR doesn't really yeah, work cause... that well in huge spaces, anyways. Because you need you need to have those like towers set up in a certain area, with the exception of like one one that like Facebook something has the, the uh, cameras on it. But um, I still I think, think that the processing and latency is yeah. like. If you if you looked at like the Wii U gamepad and you looked at like latency to like the TV and I, I guess the TV has its own latency problems, I didn't see that as a as the main problem with the gamepad. Like the, the main the, problem with the gamepad was the, I think the the, the, the ping the, was not was not the issue yeah. with it. it. The ping was fine. The problem was the battery life, but I do think that we're getting to the point where at least we could like do something like pretty like you know I'm not the biggest tech guy. Like we could have something like pretty competent at least. I don't know. That'd like, be pretty interesting. Like, like I, I mean, iPhones even have the best batteries. Like there are some Android phones out there that can play video for an entire day without dying. And so if, if you um, took that kind of same processor and battery, and you put it in a headset with uh, all the radios, whatever that you would need, um, and then you would need, um, like suppose you want to get eliminate the base stations, right? Then you put cameras on it, and so that the, the phone would need to be doing some kind of processing. And that can get energetically expensive, but if you have a, a battery, like a cell phone battery, that is powerful enough, and we have we have ones that can, you know, do the whole video decoding thing and and last, a, you know, a full day. Then I don't think that, that that's that's the problem. I think it's just that the kind of design philosophy of VR headsets so far has been you need the cable, and because they're not designing it around that, you end up with these kind of like unwieldy extensions sticking out of it that just make make the experience not really any better. Mm -hmm. I think comparing it to the Wii U might not be the best because you're streaming a 720p signal to a thing where it just has a broadcast video. But when you're doing a straight, let's say you're streaming a VR headset, you have to stream the. Um, it's, it, for each eye, it's at least like 2K it's screens. 2K, yeah. And so the, 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 and the stream requirement is, is higher. Um, but. Yeah, but I mean, example, think of how far we've come needed, from if that, right? If you, need ex if you need extra bandwidth, remember this is what, 2013 technology? Um, we have we do have the ability now to send video, 4K video. Yeah, I I think it'd probably be a better idea to like kind of compare it more to the Switch because the Switch does have some VR capabilities, uh, with a stupid piece of cardboard that you attach to it and you. Full p again. Yeah. It's not it's not really a headset though because you only have to like hold it onto your face or something. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's but like, models, like yeah. You wear it, like, but I mean, uh, still, like, uh, we could do something fairly confident with like the Switch, you know, uh, with its limited hardware, right? You know, running on uh, technology from five years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, if you really wanted to like invest into something, I, I wouldn't think it'd be that difficult. At least, like, in the upcoming year, we'll have something like that, or we could easily oh, yeah. have something like that. And, and the people who are actual engineers and actually good at this, they can easily do something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just feel like people aren't really looking too much to VR as like. Well, but then the part, but part of the problem with that is that it's one, it's expensive, and yeah. I'm not sure how that will change. But like cost the of entry is, is like eight hundred. Not yeah. only does it have, ex does, not only is the headset ex self expensive, but the power hardware to power it is also expensive. Yeah, okay. Like, the whole the whole thing is you're gonna have. have you need to have a dedicated air a space to play it, and not everyone has that. Yeah. Or like we it, don't have a way to mount the the um, like not everyone can have both. If you live in an apartment, you can't drill holes in your wall. They're not going to let you do that, and yeah. so you can't mount the base stations easily. And if you just place them on things, they can shift over time, and then the tracking gets all messed up. Yeah, it's, and so that's another kind of barrier to entry with the um, with the VR heads. And someone's headset. like, okay, can I I could either spend two thousand five hundred dollars on a, a PC <laughs> and a headset and. Hmm stuff or i can just pay 500 bucks for an xbox yeah uh, new one, or like a switch and i can play like, that you know forgo the vr yeah and also there's no titles that are like eye-catching yet even yeah, now well, yeah it, i need to see no users means no means no work is put into into developing for it because you know you have to sell units and if you don't no one's playing your vr 
then no one's gonna download your your game and mm. no one's gonna play it. So, and then the high cost eventually also goes for developers yeah. the same way. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be yeah. a really they have an even price. higher cost because they have to buy multiple headsets and multiple computers and multiple hardwares and all things, test it all and all of them. That the cost just goes up very quickly for them. Yeah, you know, probably what's gonna end up happening is like to, we we to see VR. I don't know. Like I'm not like smartest guy, but I imagine that VR would have to be util uh, utilized in some kind of other field before where that could develop. Yeah. And then it would get moved over to like video games and stuff like that because it looks like the way that a lot of games, at least mobile games, are starting to go, is to go the augmented reality route. Um, yeah, augmented reality is way more applicable to like, like real Pokemon life style yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, because it's it's pretty easy to do, right? Your the barrier to entry is a smartphone, which like everyone seems to have now, right? Like a uh, smartphone with, smart with with slightly with you know high end specs, camera that's not garbage, and a processor that was built in the last you know year. Yeah. Year. But but also, a lot of those. And mm -hmm. also AR has like what? You can and it's not more it's just for gaming, like you can use it, use it for medical purposes, you can use it for like productivity purposes oh, yeah. instead. Yeah. Nine, phone AR, phone AR probably not, but um Well like but, yeah, but, yeah, like, really yeah. AR, but AR in general. Yeah. Well yeah. VR is like a lot less yeah. like well, AR is more cool. useful. Mm. Yeah. Uh oh, we'll have to see. It's it'll be interesting to see how things go about it. I don't know. I feel like for a lot of the games that I'll play, or that I like playing, it wouldn't be a great idea to put into like VR or AR. Like you'd just get motion sick. Like, isn't there like legal like on the Microsoft Hololens? Is there like a legal legend you can watch the map from a, on the table? I don't know. That's yeah, kind of like interesting. There's like a Minecraft Hololens demo that they did I a long there, time ago. At a wall, you can like put that. I think they're just tech I think, demos. So. Yeah. I, think, I think that turned into Minecraft Earth, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's probably what happened. Because they remember, like many years ago, they had demoed some like Minecraft thing with the Hololens. Mm. Oh, we'll have to see. Because I I like playing fighting games and platforming games, and like that's not gonna. I wouldn't imagine that would be really interesting to play. That would not be fun to play in uh, VR. I think like feel. a VR. Mario I think there is a VR Mario Kart that exists. I mean, that's, uh, like, racing games stuff, like, games that are built to be first-person, I'd imagine will work incredibly well in VR, right? But, like, games where you do want to have... It, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're going to be a racing, but, like, um, there was a... What's it called? Ready Player One? Yeah, uh huh You know yeah. how they did the racing games either? You sat in a chair that, like, simulated acceleration and all that. Yeah. Or, like... You know that omnidirectional uh, treadmill thing? Oh yeah. Happened, you could walk that. Oh, yeah, stuff. but that, 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 that's a little different because that's that's yeah. that's that's fiction, and so in the yeah. fiction universe, they can kind of invent whatever they want. I mean, obviously, it's plausible that those things could exist, but if you really think about it, you you, do, you realize all the problems that. Mm -hmm. First of all, the cost that you'd have to front for that—that's yeah, insane. Yeah, like getting that treadmill. The cost, the space of it. And also, if you think about it, just like you know, you're running on a ball, right? That means that if you're running on a ball, the ball has to match the game perfectly if it's even and it's off, like far like, yeah it's you're gonna it's gonna get not feel it great breaks, it breaks everything and you become you could become sick because now your brain is confused it doesn't line up and things like that but just imagine how much you know power would have to go into brakes and motors into a device like that so that it could yeah. stop on a stop on a dime and turn immediately and, and match you'd have to go be able to go arbitrary speeds mm -hmm. you know you, it, it 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 doesn't have to because it's a it's it's a, it's a book. It doesn't have to yeah. Yeah. reality, and that's fine. You know, suspension of disbelief. You, you don't have to poke holes in it to to enjoy the book. But you, I don't think you can use that as like a proxy for what we could do in real life. I know, like, like today in Minecraft VR, they don't let you use a joystick to like they they do right. They let you walk around with a joystick. Um, in Minecraft Earth, you have to actually move yourself. Yeah, like, there's you some games that don't let you like move with a joystick instead you point at a place and you teleport there because um when you're standing still and then your character is moving you get really motion sick oh yeah some people yeah so instead they would <laughs> you'd have a room you play in but then if you want to go to a far off place you teleport that location then you can walk mm -hmm. around that place and then teleport to the next one maybe instead what we should do is we should use the ring fit or what's that <laughs> what's that uh, what's that game called you know you know ring what i'm talking adventure. about ring, yeah, ring it, fit it's called ring fit right am i like, not I'm not crazy. Adventure. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. We should. I think that should be the uh, the controller that we use for everything now. No, our VR yeah. is just gonna be with ring, ring fit. fit adventure. That's what it is. 
Someone modded Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild to be able to play with the Ring Fit. That's pretty funny. Amazing. Where do you go, ha, and do a... Uh, I was I've been, trying to, get, I've been uh. trying to get quite... I basically, I had made um, a while ago, um, there's this program called Glove Pie, which what it does among many things, it lets you connect a Wii remote to your computer and map it to like keyboard keys. Mm -hmm. So I had made a couple of scripts in that, which let you play Minecraft with a Wii remote. And, a single Wii remote, is it? Uh, yeah, you play, you hold it sideways. Um, because so the D-pad just... moves you up and do you use the the accelerometer to move? I can tell, yeah, right? so you, there, there are two different control schemes. There is the, there's one where so you both hold it, you hold it sideways in both cases. There's one where you, you have to, you have to press like the B key to engage the accelerometer. But mm -hmm. in the first control scheme, you press B and then you like use a, still like a steering wheel to like aim the camera around and then the D-pad moves. And then the oh, other one is the opposite you use the d-pad to look around and then you press b and then that lets you like walk mm -hmm. and you can like kind of pilot around using the like by like rolling it forward and backwards go forward and backward and tilting left and right to move left and right have mm -hmm. you tried doing a uh, pointer for aiming your i have not point? tried pointer controls yet and but then the problem with pointer it. controls is that you need that like sensor bar thing mm -hmm. and oh, i yeah. don't have a battery powered sensor bar so i can't like, <laughs> i can't test it you, you could theory, always have two possible. two candles in front of your monitor. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to burn things next to my computer, so I didn't want to test it that way. Yeah, generally, but, I'd imagine that'd be a poor idea. And you know, I, I got I got maybe later on that because I was trying to get Clayton to play it, but also because he doesn't have a Bluetooth on his computer, mm -hmm. so that that's an oh easy yeah, you, you play. yeah. There's no way to plug it in unless you. If, if any of you guys want to try to play Minecraft the Wii Remote, hit me up. Um, but anyways, um. <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah, I, 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 it does work. Basically, the Wii Remote has, with the accelerometer, it has just enough inputs <laughs> to cover all of Minecraft's like basic controls. Even so inventory and all that. Yes. Yeah, so Jimmy, you use um one to break and two to place. So you can invert them. That's like your place and your break. Mm -hmm. um, use the A button to jump, or you can also have the auto jump on, which actually proves to be quite useful. Yeah, auto jump. I'd you, have like, mm -hmm. you have to like take your thumb off the D-pad to press the A to jump. Uh, that's not good. So I actually, when Move I was testing, hand. <laughs> when I was testing it, I just put my, um, I just put my, my auto jump on. At least I play like a mobile game. Uh, and then, the plus and minus will shift your hot bar, over one. And then I believe the home button opened your inventory. Oh. And with, and then when you're in your inventory, you use whatever the camera control was to move the mouse. So, if you were in like, the tilt the, the, the remote to look around you'd have to tilt the remote left and right up and down to move your cursor you should probably use toy. windows 10 edition to do that then, <laughs> to be windows 10 edition you have the controller inputs the problem is that glove pie is old and doesn't support that oh mm. no, i mean yeah, the glove, I mean, glove I, pie has quite the story and i'm pretty sure you could use the inventory with directional input like with uh, up down left right and it you, would just you use can I, I actually i haven't tried that that closely i i was targeting Java edition. Java, yeah. Uh, and in Java edition, it only supports keyboard and mouse. <laughs> and so, yeah, it does work. You can actually play Minecraft with a Wii remote. I just didn't have enough patience to play more than five minutes of it. <laughs> nice. You, th this sh you should just send the script to one of those YouTubers that does the... Uh, the the yeah. beating Minecraft, but with this yeah, I, I specific put, I challenge. I put them on too. GitHub. I don't know if I put GitHub doesn't track anything, so I, don't, I have no idea if anyone's downloaded it. I mean, probably not. Uh, um... Yeah. Oh, but because because glove pie just maps to the keyboard and mouse, you could in theory play any game with the Wii Remote, provided that you can somehow think uh, of uh, yeah like configure the, the controls. The Wii Remote, I mean, people kind of make fun of the Wii Remote for this reason. It doesn't have that many buttons on it. Yeah. And so even it has less buttons, I think, than like. I, think, like I feel like it was controls. designed for That's that. What, you have a D-pad. You have yeah, yeah because the idea behind the Wii Remote is it's, it's supposed to look like a TV remote. It'd be very accessible but to like people who don't play games. It's also yeah. supposed, supposed to be easy to swing around, which it is. They succeeded there. Um, and so if you think about like if you count each of the different axes, you can move the remote. That's plus four for because in 3D you have you have four directions in 3D for rotation and for movement. That that actually does add quite a few. The problem is, is that if you want to point something, they already use up all of those just pointing something. Actually, mm -hmm. speaking of like control schemes, there was a game I I played for a little bit on.
PlayStation 3 called Dust 514. And the control scheme was because you know how the PlayStation has their um, their normal PlayStation controller, and then they didn't have a Wii remote, but they wanted to use pointer controls, so they made this thing called the the PlayStation Move. Do you know what that is? Oh yeah, the yeah you know, I know what the PlayStation Move is. Is it like that? Like it, it's, it's the, the one with it's the big like, ball, ball, ball. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, like yeah. Sony's response to the Wii. Yeah. So the way you played was you hold your half the control like the PS3 DualShock controller in your left hand and have your hand on the like the trigger as the analog stick on the D-pad and the right hand you would have your 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 place just move so you could point so <laughs> it was, and it was a shooter game so you would have to like it sounds bad <laughs> it was <laughs> I know that like there there actually were there were Call of Duties made for the Wii and oh yes Call of Duties the pointer to move so yeah. like point around mm -hmm. and and they actually did an okay job with it because you use the pointer to aim, you use the... I believe you also used the, the, the nunchucks, the so that's how you would move around. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and trigger is probably shoot. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. Mar Mario Galaxy has like some great controls considering the Wii, the Wii uh, remote. The only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that you had to shake it to like, do the oh, spin. Oh yeah, to do the spin, that was kind that of was, annoying. That was annoying and tiring. Cause you, shape, you have to spin a lot in that game. You're spinning like every other like jump you're spinning. That's a lot of shaking. Yeah, there's and something the similar with Wii Mario Wii. Odyssey. If you want to yeah, throw Cappy. Wasn't that, like, wasn't that good at detecting shakes? Like, it, it works, like, you know, it's solid 80% of the time, and that's pretty good. The problem is, is that... You, you know, know, that other 20%. Every 10 swings wouldn't register, and so you'd fall and die, because yeah. you needed that swing to jump over the jump over the gap. Yeah, I feel like Odyssey kind of took that back and really perfected it. Well, anyway. But also, the, the Joy-Con has better hardware yeah, uh -huh. detecting that. Yeah, yeah, and then there's also the Wii Motion Plus. Anyway, we, we've reached like an hour and 20 minutes. I think this is probably a good place to wrap it up. Uh, yeah. Considering how much time we talked about tech in game design, maybe I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll put it as a topic for next time we, uh, yeah, we record talk this podcast. This. Yeah, dude. Half the podcast. How, how many, Okay, we have to move back to Clayton so I could keep the thumbnail oh clickbait. God. <laughs> in it, right? Without having we, to worry we, about being we, disingenuous. We, we, honestly, we, we shouldn't. We shouldn't blast him that much. We shouldn't we, blast him too much. Think about like, you know, he he is a he's a great person. He just, he's just he's a fantastic person. Clayton yeah. is a fantastic, can't, lovable, can't, like, powerful yeah. gay yeah, man, and I love him. Okay, so we've talked about Clayton enough to meet the quota where I could use his name as clickbait. The quota. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like, I can't. We can't talk about him for like two minutes and be like, oh podcast where we talk about clay god because now we're only talking about two minutes right so well, we, we, we talk about one aspect of his personality you gotta you gotta, yeah. you gotta give you know all, all of his all of his good side credit clan so so for the next podcast we'll talk about wonderful... how much we like clay god <laughs> <laughs> right, next podcast like clay god next. that's just gonna devolve into not today maybe later again we don't want to have oh, no. the same <laughs> <That's> podcast <laughs> twice you called him out <laughs> Not tomorrow, maybe today. <laughs> do, do I call? Do I call <laughs> the podcast not today, surprise. maybe tomorrow? I feel like that's kind of mean, especially considering how much yeah. we blasted him today. No, we call this podcast not today, maybe tomorrow, and then the next one we call it not tomorrow, maybe today. Not, to not <laughs> tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like uh, I'll probably okay, go through to edit know. this, cut down the uh, the not today, maybe the not talk, because we talk a lot about tech. I feel like I could make that the. We also we talked about not today, maybe tomorrow for like a solid like thirty minutes or something. That's kind of redundant. We that, could probably that can be slimmed down to like to, to, five. to like five. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we have like enough footage right now for us to make a at least like maybe probably. Taking out like that thirty minutes, like an hour podcast, you know. Oh yeah. So, uh, is there anything that you guys want to say right before we wrap up? Anything you guys want to plug? Um, Clayton. Uh, my join Clay Court Discord. <laughs> game launching soon, TM. <laughs> soon, TM. It's not launching today, but maybe tomorrow. I made the Twitter. You guys should follow <laughs> me on it. <laughs> Same. All right. I, I, I want to start streaming soon, so we'll have to see whether that gets anywhere. Anyway. Stream, stream podcast might be interesting. Oh, yeah, we could do that. That's what most people do, actually. Maybe gotta, we'll... Gotta talk to chat. Yeah, gotta, dude, gotta talk go to talk to chat for a moment. Maybe after Clay's 50k. <laughs> after Clay. Dude, oh. Oh, gosh, he's, his he's channel's really been growing pretty steadily. 
Why does middle click close tab? Yeah, I mean, he puts a lot of effort into those videos, and he, he deserves all the success he's getting. Yeah. Yeah. Takes Dude, a, it took a month his for last to his video. last video was so is edited really well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, been like I made like when we were doing group projects with on with him on um on uh, and like yeah first semester of of last year of high school. Um, he did all the editing for the vid videos. I mean, basically what, what happened was we had a group and like it was me and him and two other people. And two other people did like voices for it. But then I I did my best like programmer and a hand-drawn animation. And he edited it. Mm -hmm. And we just sit in a call for six hours and work on it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know that for my projects I had to do a bunch of the editing of myself because no one else knew how to do it. Well, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now. All right. Uh, Thank you for joining me this week. Hopefully we'll get one out before, another one out before the end of the month. Not today, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs>